Do 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 do. Hello, everybody. Hello to Deus Ex Machina. Machina Rappa. <laughs> yeah. Um. Welcome. I put a poll up for this, and it was pretty cool. I got some votes, and it's really nice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think it's all good. I think it's all nice to get going and to make a good time, baby. I think it's all ready for, um, blast off. I think. I had some issues with it before, but I think everything's been solved now. Oh, thank you, cat, for stepping on my, uh, keyboard. Like, it's nothing. That's always nice. You know. <laughs> it's always good when the cat wants to just step all over your keyboard. And act like it's nothing, you know. Um, but yeah. Let me go and start it up, then. Deus Ox. I don't even really know what that means. I think it means something, but I don't know. Uh oh. It's not starting. Please, you need the help. <laughs> Why isn't it starting? Oh. Uh, ASX is running, but. And again, it's not. <laughs> Give it another try. There we go. I think it's running now. Oh. Game of the Year Edition. Quick, show it. Show it. Show it. It's not showing it. Look, there it is. I have to show it via the screen. Watch out, it's the spinning thing. I think I'm supposed to click. There we go. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> it's, uh... How do I explain? It's not taking to the... To the goodness of it. Let me do it 7, 1280 by 768. The good old 1632 bit color. Oh god. Oh Christ, it moved my things over. All I wanted was a high resolution. Who would have guessed this would have done this to me? Oh god. It's just getting worse with these each time I try it. Let me see if I can get into a game and see if that'll actually just, you know, start it up. Let me go to training. Because right now it's not capturing, is it? <laughs> Why are the screen like screen sharing? No, it's like not wanting to capture. This is what it's supposed to show. But it's not capturing, is it? <sighs> now I gotta go figure out how to fix this. Maybe we won't be doing Deus Ex tonight. OBS not capturing Deus Ex. <laughs> um, let's see. Been trying to record some private gameplay of my Deus Ex game, and OBS is simply not recognizing the game for capture mode. Any simple fixes or solutions? And nobody, nobody answered this guy. Nobody said, "Hey, <laughs> what's going on, dude?" Is this the original Deus Ex you're talking about? I don't believe that runs under DX9 or later by default, which is required for game capture. 
Yeah, I can only capture games with the Direct X 9, 10, 11, or OpenGL games currently. Pretty sure it's possible to run Deus Ex in DX9 or even DX10 mode though. There are instructions on the internet somewhere. How to run <laughs> Deus. Deus X Direct Direct X 9 Can you just extend the window? I could, but it may slow it down. How do I go about running it in DirectX? Need video card with support DXX9. I have that. Help me out here, please. I have that. And what? Air crash. Try to install. Da -da -da. Card supports at least DX10. Then no, the game defaults and locks the DX11. I can run Warband on DirectX 9, why can I do it here? I think you can turn on DirectX 11 in the video options for the games, I am not sure because I set game up quite a few hours ago of gameplay, da da da. If you don't want to do it with the game options, then uninstall the game and reinstall it after clearing up the... <coughs> with Disc Cleaner, the launcher used to start the first playthrough. Okay. Enough of that. Let me just look it up. I think I can do it all by myself. Can you just extend the window? The problem with that is that it gets um very slow sometimes. Because it's capturing the whole window instead of the application. But hey, how you doing? Welcome. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So, <laughs> first let me switch this, 1920 by 1080, right, then there should be a way, oh here's some settings, but that's not the one I want. I want the original Deus Ex to run. <laughs> How to run Deus Ex on Windows 7. How to run? Oh, gotcha, man. How about you? Man, how about you? Oh, doing pretty good. I'm just trying to get it all cool. <laughs> I'm kind of excited for this game because um, it kind of has a... Uh, you know, the mod Deus Ex will have to sacrifice Gideato downsampling. It currently only supports the RectX 9. What? <sighs> Let's see. Download the fantastic Deus Ex from Kinte.net or something. Run it on high resolution. Under the configuration, Deus Ex lets you insert custom resolutions, choose the aspect ratio, and more. <gasps> you may notice other options in the Deus Ex launcher. The render used to run that engine. Modders have been updated. Da da da. Cool. Great, I get to download stuff. You wanna see what I get to download? It's this. <laughs> I don't know if this will kill my computer or not, but. It's worth it, isn't it? Sometimes it's worth being a little scumbag. Downloads. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Current version is Deus Ex V 8.1 download. Okay. How do I do this? Oh. Do I just run, put that in the thing and run it? <laughs> Move and replace. And then I have to copy this and go paste the shortcut. <laughs> See, sometimes it's okay to uh, try and do this. I've been um 
installing basically a lot of different games and all that. <laughs> like there's um there's uh this one I want to play which is called Red Fraction Red Faction. It is if you don't mind risking computer destruction. I'm willing to risk it. There you go. Woo! Now does the thing. Woo! <laughs> um let me go ahead and get this all good. Direct 3D support. Yeah, dude. I don't know if that's it. Maybe OpenGL support too. Orless full screen window. Thank you, Lord. Automatic full screen. No, borderless full screen window. That's cool. That'll let me uh, see the chat too. Automatic updates. Da, da, da. Let's see what it looks like now. Oh. Click capture. Come on, capture, motherfucker. Capture. <laughs> Still not capturing. <laughs> One second. It may just have to run it in, uh, you know, stink mode. Open GL support. There we go. Let's try that one out. Bada bing! I told you I could do it. Here we is, baby. <laughs> I spill my drink. I spill my drink. That's neat. I have the second red fact on PS2. Nice. Red Faction is really cool. I, I, I tested out the original last night and it also has um, like really crazy physical uh, dynamics and all that. Yeah, here we are. Look. It is... It is Deus Ex, baby. Look at all this stuff. Let's play the intro. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the oh Senator. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Ew! Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Look at that robot! Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that poor guy. What the fuck was that we sound? Are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. The Xenomorph! He's to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. He wasn't My moving his mouth for most of that. Progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. <gasps> God ideologies. You know what that means. I wonder if multiplayer works with an internet game. Well, I don't think I'll be playing anytime soon on multiplayer. <laughs> cool. Now it's good. Yeah, it's good. Hell yeah. Will you be doing an early stream pull after Tomb Raider? Yeah, more, more than likely I will. 
There's something about voice acting in this era that is bad, but beautifully bad. It's it's not the voice acting, really. Well, sometimes it's the voice acting. It's the lip syncing. The fact that the guy's mouth didn't move for like half of it. Do some training. Do not call training facilities. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. All right. The key on the desk opens encryption-based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added Ew. to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it moved. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. Oh. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. How do I, how do I leave that? <laughs> Fuck off, ooga booga. Alright, thank you. I got a crowbar now. I got the knife. I'm now Gordon Freeman. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible. I lock pick your dick off. You might find useful. Now pick up the lock pick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expects the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you don't need as much time. Let me out! I'm no longer a rat in a cage. Please. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage the door takes. We'll make this one destroyed. easy for you. To the open the door, use the code zero zero twelve. How many will be required to pick the lock? Some Wait. doors have strength an tells you how many lockpicks will be required lock to lockpick strength. the door. That means Some have, have infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. Okay. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read it's the contents. Tool. Then type the code into the keypad. <laughs> you activate the keypad Wait, with it? the right mouse button. Okay. Just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Easy peasy. Oh, I'm calling someone. <laughs> What year did this game come out? Hey Google, when did Deus Ex come out? According to wikipedia.org, pre-production for Deus Ex began around August 1997 and lasted roughly six months. You want a little more context? Yes, please. Pre-production <gasps> for Deus Ex began around August 1997 and lasted roughly six months. The game's working title was Shooter, Majestic Revelations, and it was scheduled for release on Christmas <laughs> 1998. The team developed the setting before the game mechanics. I'm glad they didn't call it that. Shooter, Majestic Findings. <laughs> Such a great game. It's pretty nice so far. Welcome, Hard. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tool's resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. So it's kind of like a lock pick. Other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. Skill levels? Can I upgrade skills? <gasps> oh, no way! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! There's even an upgrade system. That is really nice. Untrained, trained, advanced, and master. Demolition. An agent can throw grenades, attach them to surfaces at proximity devices, or attempt to disarm and remove a previously armed proximity device. Grenade. So wait, is untrained like one skill? Is this what I have right here? <laughs> this is really cool. 
I like this. There's goals, conversations, images, logs. Health? Look at that. It's the full human body. Head wounds are fatal in the vast majority of threat scenarios. However, in those cases where death is not instantaneous, agents will often find the head injuries, impair vision, and aim. Care should be taken to heal such injuries as quickly as possible, or death may result. Wow. Wow, it even tells you exactly what wounds do. Light wounds, slightly decreased accuracy, wavering vision, death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm guessing that all major wounds are like death. Significantly impaired. This is really nice. I like this. It's a lot of attention to detail. Unatico Training Manual, Section 3C Multi-Tools. A multi-tool is not really a tool at all. Not in the usual sense of the word, but a disposable electronic device that utilizes electromagnetic resonance detection and frequency modulation to dynamically alter the flow of current of current through almost any non-hardened circuit circuitry skilled agents can use the multi-tool to manipulate code locks cameras auto gun turrets alarms or other security elements Ooh. <laughs> note that multi-tools cannot be used for computer information extraction see section 5a hacking almost done but one quick note I'm not exactly the expert on this sort of thing. For that, you'll have to check in with Sam Carter when you get to Liberty Island, but remember that there's any number of other ways to open a door, including using explosives or finding a security computer. Good idea. Strength 5%. One tool. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just beep boop some buttons. All munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. That's pretty scary. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's really nice. It's kind of like a system shock, but it has a lot more detail. I'm gonna guess System Shock 2 is kind of like this. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. All right. Don't worry, sir. I got you now. <laughs> I got some booty in my hand. <laughs> Good work. I'll get someone down there immediately to Good revive work. Private Winslow. He had a spinal injury, step. and you just made it a thousand times worse by throwing him on there. <laughs> you can bet this won't be the last time we send God. you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Oh. Just press F12 by default. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. I can see in the dark. So are my eyeballs just lit up or something? <laughs> there you go. It's Wally. Mac, but you're enough of a machine to need repair bots now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting to the dark area, for example. This contraption can charge you back up. Oh, B. Nice. <laughs> so I am a uh I am a cyber boy, right? Oh. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security screens to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Okay, that's gonna be a little difficult to remember. Ah, oh, that's some really good detail. Jump across the platforms. This is very system shocky. Good. Fall, I love system shock. So shift is walking. Gotta remember that there is no major run. <laughs> this is as fast as we're gonna get, probably. I would hope because the first system shock sucked. No, it didn't. 
Don't ever say that. System Shock was really good. You need to go How the dare you? Ahead, but it's <laughs> Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tap key by default. Oh. The ending to System Shock, though, did suck. I will admit that much. It was a very big letdown. Want to go higher? <laughs> All right. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here, but we're here nonetheless, aren't we? Well, <laughs> there goes my whole plan to uh, become a ceiling rat. Stock. We get some complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water is contaminated. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to climb out. I have to swim in radiated water? <laughs> Help! Oh, my leg's being irradiated. It's turning yellow. Help! These medical books, normally used for quick healing, are of particular interest to you, JC, because you need a bot's help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during this swim, now's a good time to get patched up. Let me look at that. Standard hazard, sa hazardous material suit, or a HMS, as they call, that protects against a full range of environmental hazards, including radiation, fire, biochemical toxins, electricity, and EMP. Hazmat suits contain an integrated bacterial oxygen scrubber that degrades over time and thus should not be reused. Charge remaining 36%. That's pretty cool. Can I look at my health? Look at my fucked up leg. Oh my god. <laughs> my leg's gonna die. My torso's doing pretty bad too. How'd my... How did my right leg not take damage, but my left one did? Heal me. <laughs> Augmentations. Oh my gosh, look. You can get augmentations. That is okay. I'm getting hyped for this game. Equipment. That's right. No cheating. <laughs> no cheating. Oh, okay. Walk around, pick up stuff. Sometimes shoot something. Welcome that's it. In a nutshell. That's because you didn't Herman, follow the story. It's a German. It is Dorian Rova. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. The targets Open. are released by using the buttons on the counter. These sex looks Release more the interesting. Though. There's a lot of options. One of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Yoink. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> Damn. Good. If you hold your aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out wide and tightens as you hold. So longer you aim as a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. Wait. What? How do I aim? I wasn't paying attention. Oh gosh. Always run, yeah. Toggle crouch. Eh, 
I want that. I want to hold down X. Keyboard and mouse. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, that's quite a bit. So that's multiplayer down there. Toggle ammo display. There's no toggle any of this. Where's aiming? Uh, use object. Drop it away. Move. Turn right. Strafe. Jump. Crouch. Mouse look up. Look down. Walk. Run. Toggle. Walk. Run. Strafe. Select next belt item. Reload weapon. Semicolon. Uh, yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work, Doc. Activate all augmentations. Do that. Toggle scope. Left bracket. How about we instead do that with a Z? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I don't... How do I aim? I, I still don't know how to aim. <laughs> the other game had shit all over the screen too. Yeah, but that's the good part about it. You have to decipher which is what. <laughs> Toggle crosshairs. I don't know how to aim. Help me. <laughs> Interview. Mouse look. I don't think there is just a aim button, is there? Right? Toggle lasers. Proceed to the next area. <laughs> Let's go. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. No problem. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. All right. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. You mean the Z key? Haha, <laughs> woo! <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> it's all. It's all movie. It's like Excellent. all wiggly and all that. You're going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Okay, so that was with zero. Oh, and look at that. Dead on, baby. <laughs> Good work. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. That's pretty good. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. No cheating. This is the demolitions training area. First, you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamp placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Right. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamp. Lamps placed on the walls are proximity triggered. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god. <laughs> this time you will place your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that poor little boy. Let's make it really blow up. <laughs> Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. Oh. The fuck? Don't detonate on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My left arm and left foot, it's all broken. That's one right there. One right there. 
One right there. One right there. There. I'm good now. <laughs> that's four. Well, that's probably why I don't like it then, if that's the good part. Probably not. It's got a lot of detail to it. Lots of reading to do and all that. Oh. Holy shit! Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolitions training. Oh my god. He's been killed, help me. <laughs> my leg and torso, everything. Oh, it didn't even heal my right arm all the way. <laughs> You'll need a few extra lamps in the demolitions area. Here, catch. Oh, did he give me some or what? <laughs> Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. He never Once gave me blows, any. Proceed down the corridor. Uh, he never gave me any though. Hello? <laughs> hey. Of explosives? Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey, what do you say? Throw it down the hallway? Bottoms up, baby. Oh, shit. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Yeah. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also reach with a lamp. Try that now. Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this, and your lamb and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Look how long the Continue tutorial is. And on to the next section. It's been almost 40 minutes. This is like show how much detail there the is in this beyond game. The door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. Uh -oh. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove <gasps> the lamp from the wall. Oh my gosh. These are really bad. <laughs> If you're able to just run up and pick it up, morning, you know. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. Oh, my legs! Help! Help! Oh, I tossed them. I thought they would have just exploded in the corner. Help! My legs literally don't work. Help me. Oh, my legs. Significantly, significantly impaired movement. Yeah. How about I can't move my legs anymore? They're broken. <laughs> They've been blown to pieces. <laughs> it's just like, nam all over again. Help. Just, oh, thank God. <laughs> Could you imagine being that guy? <laughs> he just hears like all this screeching. <laughs> he sees you walk crawling in. Rules are rules. Oh, this is a tutorial. Holy moly! Yeah, it's all a tutorial, baby. Woo! Now you will learn to walk quietly and conceal yourself oh, so that you will be able robotic. to avoid the confrontation. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did they say? Oh gosh, come on. Stealth is a vital component of all Unatico operations. When implemented correctly, stealth missions result in the lowest possible ratio of agent and civilian casualties to hostile losses. 
Situational awareness is key, and agents should not only be familiar with the tactical opportunities offered by their immediate environment, but how those opportunities can be exploited to their advantage with the appropriate equipment. Tech goggles allow agents to operate in low light environments such as offices or labs, where illumination might otherwise attract attention. With binoculars, an agent can survey an opponent's disposition and determine the way to evade or eliminate their defenses. A rifle or crossbow equipped with a scope and silencing modification can be used to in wait, interdict targets from a con considerable distance, significantly compromising hostile resistance. Other features of the environment can also be used by an agent to enhance their ability to operate covertly or to create useful distractions, disabling security cameras, subverting auto guns, and reprogramming bots are all viable tactics employed by experienced agents in the field. Nice. do it then. Time to be a little sneaky. Remember, don't let the guards see you. Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. Hey. <laughs> well. You blew it. The alarm has closed the north door. Return to the control room. Oh shit, I blew it. Come on. Then restart it. This time, don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched, stay behind the crates, and stay behind the guards. Ah! Shh. You won't see me. <laughs> How? How, huh? <laughs> Always remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. Crouch behind concealment. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And use shadows to conceal yourself. Be alert to every possibility. I just didn't know they were that dumb. <laughs> I think that guy saw me. He's like... Yeah, I just won't report him, you know? They have assigned us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. Wow, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm a newbie, so what else? For the last test, you have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Ah! He's a persistent boy. You can pick up the boxes and move them around, but crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, it's horrible. <laughs> I think he's stuck now. That was opportunity, baby. <laughs> I'm a swimmy boy. <laughs> Listen, it all makes perfect sense, you know. over here but I open it I want it <laughs> damn it
<laughs> the operative has <laughs> chosen to cheese it. Oh shit, I don't know the key. There's no way that robot doesn't see me. I think he is bugged. I, I don't know about that. I'm just saying, it's not very, uh, you know, common for him to be dancing around like that. That's what I would imagine. Oh, general sup- I can go open the things now. <laughs> I like the little bubbles, I know, right? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die, help! Ta-da! Bingo! Suck an egg, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I thought he would have been done. <laughs> My blood! It is splattered across the ground. Yeah, something tells me I'm not gonna be too good with this game. Especially if it's all about sneaking. <laughs> They go bloop bloop bloop. It's just like finding Nemo. Oh no, don't let him cross the bridge. Go 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 go! go. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right, excellent. I'm like Agent 007, you know. Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. Ew. Oh, weird. A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. The NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the U.S. This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American revolution. Okay. That's An expensive scary. security bot, a favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. Mm. Explosives are going to be needed. This Page Industries walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. Right then. Ooh. <laughs> the Coalition's new nano-augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable. He's got a goatee. Except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Hey, what? Something <laughs> wait, what? something about me smiling for a picture? This is the old augmentation technology. Hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics. A maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they made me file in my office in the med lab. I like I like old tech. Looks cool. <laughs> That he's just a regular guy, but he's like a robot underneath the skin. I like her. She's like boom robot. Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Yeah. Your <laughs> augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. Bob Page. What a cool villain name. He looks like a villain. Oh, well, there we go. That was the tutorial. It only took 
me about an hour to do it. Now we can get into the actual game. Let's go with a medium, because I'm a punk. Code name, J.C. Denton. Real name, J.C. Denton. <laughs> Could you imagine? What's his real name gonna be? Wait, we can change appearances? Oh, hell yeah, dude! <laughs> I can become so many different ones. Snowflake. <laughs> Agent Snowflake. Code name JC Denton. <laughs> okay. So we have a lot of stuff here. That we can put in some some points to. Some of them cost a lot more than others. Like these 1800 ones. Look at this one. Look. Pistol. Oh my god. Computer. The covert manipulation of computers and security consoles. Agent can use terminals to read bulletins and news. Agent can hack ATMs, computers, and security consoles. I feel like this might be a necessity, and it is pretty low. So, I'll upgrade that. I'm trained in this, so I can do that. Advanced would be able to, uh... Let's see. An agent achieves a moderate increase in detection countdowns and a moderate decrease in lockout times. As well as gaining the ability to control automated gun turrets. Wow, that'd be cool. Electronics. Agent can bypass security systems. The efficiency with which an agent bypasses security increases slightly. Oh, that's kind of lame. Environmental training. An agent can use hazmat suits, ballistic armor, and thero thermo wait, thermoptic camo. And rebreathers. Trained. Armor, suits, camo, and rebreathers can be used slightly longer and more efficiently. Lock picking. Oh, we have to do lock picking. Pick locks. The efficiency which can pick locks increases slightly. Alright. I'm trained in pistols. That's why it costs so much. Uh, let's see. Medicine. Agent can use med kits, and agent can heal slightly more damage and reduce the period of toxic poisoning. There's one for swimming. <laughs> swimming speed and lung capacity of an agent increases slightly. Demolition. Uh, train grenades accuracy and damage increases slightly, as does the safety margin for disarming. Heavy. Accuracy. Da -da -da. I think I'll go for more uh, this stuff, you know. But I kind of wonder which one. Computer seems like the best option, because, like, you know, as actual stuff instead of, yeah, you can do it for longer or it's more effective. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll also do this. I only have a few points left. Let's go with, uh,. Medicine, that's probably important. And I got barely enough left. We can do either environmental or swimming. <laughs> Let's go with swimming. Why not? I'm sure that'll be great. That you and your brother don't know how to smile even for a picture. I don't know. Did. Why do I have a brother? Why does Snowflake have a brother? <laughs> a rube plebicus? No. Snowflake. Hell yeah. Oh, we already watched this, but let's watch it again. Just I take case. it he was agreeable? He didn't let's really, really have a listen choice. to it. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? 
Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. The in the end, they'll beg us <laughs> to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. Pretentious old men playing in front of the world. Isn't it that Left them behind long ago. We it's like a chimp. future. We have other problems. Look at that tech guy to the right. Now he's on the left. Look at him. He's got a big, baldy statue. Metal head. in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. Oh God! His My mouth is in gold. Report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again, a new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. Gods. Huh. Oh, here we are. Liberty Island, New York. Granatico HQ. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. Did I just eat that? Situation from HQ. Oh, your brother Paul. I do have a brother. I got the trash bag. Oh, no, it's a vampire. Watch out. It's a vampire. Oh, no. Help! Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Oh. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gap gun, or a mini crossbow. A mini crossbow? Oh! <laughs> what? what should we go with? I like to pick them off from a distance. I'll take the rifle. Never know what I might come up against heavy armor. Give me the Gep gun. Crossbow. Sometimes you gotta make a silent takedown. I want. I kind of want to do this sneakily. <laughs> and plus it's a mini crossbow. Come on. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these <laughs> tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the oh, first I thought move? I could kill them. I'm going to give you a map of the island. Focus if you get to the south. north dock, a Unatco informant will give you a key Bad. to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. You got it, brother. So let's take a look at what we have. First off, what's this? Cold sweat, 40 ounce malt liquor. Never let them see your cold sweat. <laughs> okay. That's that. There's this. I'll change out these. There we go. Now we're going non deadly first, and deadly last. Our health is good. You got augmentation of eyeball or something. <laughs> Our skills are looking like this. Okay, so primary goal is the NSF seems to be directing the attack from the statue. Get inside and locate the threat. Secondary goals are to meet the 
Unatco informant Harley Philbin, the Orthodox, he has a key to the statue doors. One of the Unatco's top agents is being held inside the statue. Break him out, and he'll back you up against the NSF. All right. Cool. I'm a cool cat, dude. Conversations, images. Okay. North Dock, South Dock. I'm guessing I'm at the South Dock. We have to make our way to the North Dock. Natco HQ, Liberty Statue, Ruins. So someone fucked up the life of power. <laughs> Can you believe someone would mess up the Eiffel Tower? Hello. Hell yeah, dude. I got me some binoculars. Hello? Well, let him in. Okie dokie. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. I'll be right back, guys. I have to go get a cat.
I'm back, babies. What up? What the fuck? Crossbow. Hello, it's just the evening. Well, the soundtrack fucking smacks. Yeah. Morning, Devin. I'm at a hotel right now. Are you on vacation? Also, hello to you as well. No, with my dad for the weekend. Just to get out of town. Welcome aboard, Agent. He doesn't want you. He doesn't want you to smell him. Oh, oh wait, there's stuff underneath there. You see that, right? I got him, I guess swimming was a good option. <laughs> Bioelectric cell. What the fuck is that? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Bioelectric cell. Provides efficient storage for energy in the form that can be utilized by a number of different devices. Unatical augmentation agents have been equipped with an interface that allows them to transparently absorb energy from biometric cells. Okay, so that's like uh, BE recharge error. What? Just what? Me and him are spending time together. Yeah, quote unquote time. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Blyern and Blopper. You got it, sir. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Got him. Nope. Don't. What? <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. I got more shit that I don't need. <laughs> He's been electrocuted to death. Not the big surprise. Let's pick him up. Into the drink. <laughs> if you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Got it, sir. Oh, something tells me those pigeons just gave away my location, right? Got you in my sight now, motherfucker. All we gotta do is trank them. Trank them? And yank them. I don't think I got them. I got him that time. <laughs> well, at least I better of. Shut up. I gotta blow my cover. Shush. 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 Huh? Gonna blow my cover. I got a baton. Oh, just drink that. This is kind of creepy, huh? I don't know, I always, I feel, I kind of feel like I can't go unstealthy, you know? It has to be exactly like this. A gas grenade. Oh, okay. Is he asleep yet? I shot the guy with a trank! How is this even fair? I shot one of them with a fucking trank. I got pepper spray. <laughs> oh shit! Can I actually pepper spray someone? That'd be amazing. Come on. Come on, motherfucker. Great, it didn't even work.
Ooh. Why? <laughs> I'm up in his ass. I swear I heard something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I was right up in his ass. How could he not see me? I was right up in his butthole, dude. How's that even possible? Well, the uh, dart gun is already out of ammo. And... The taser was out of ammo for a second or two. That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? They cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced oh, his I drink liquor. would have improved performance. That's how you judge a man? By performance? Then eventually, it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, functionality. Upper cart. Yes. All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. They found us. They found us. <laughs> Don't worry, I got a pepper, a pepper spray. Can't get in there though. Oh, oh, get fucked! <laughs> oh god, they're dying. Laptop to get some shit done. Uh, ooh, for church, the hell Wi-Fi actually works well. That's pretty weird. Usually they don't work so good. I don't have any more pepper. I had one pepper spray. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> These cigarettes, coffee nails, and you've got to have a cigarette. <laughs> There's a candy bar. <laughs> Can I eat it? Use it. Oh, two points, nice. I don't have any more ammo for my pepper gun, so I'm just gonna put it in here. Well, all my uh, you know, safety tools, my don't go and kill people tools is pretty much all fucked, so it's whatever. We just have this stuff left. Thanks, boys. You are credit to team. I'll never find the bodies now. What, there's a clip just you chalking, but you chalks a terrorist. Clip me clipping the guy in the eyeballs by the gas. Painful, dreadful gas. It sounds like computers in here. You hear it, right? This fucking buzzing noise that's been going on all day. I think it's a water heater or some shit. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's it's some kind of bee that lives inside of your ear. <laughs> I think I know what those extra accounts that never comment are for now. They all have large follow base and it shows them live hosting streams. Yeah, I kind of figured that out a little bit ago. I think they. They just follow uh, or stay in the chat of some people just to see what they're all about. Well, not to see what they're all about, but to uh, host them. Good thinking. You might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. Oh, I, I, I wasn't really trying to avoid security. I was just kind of jumping on here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is, uh... Oh, uh, this is... Something. Oh, there's a thing over there. Hello? Oh, thank you. Are they bots, like, programmed, or are they people? They're bots. How else would they be able to be in everyone's chat? Shit. Really kidding me? Yeah, where are you running off to, boys, huh? <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> They're out of here. Probably should have taken the non-lethal approach, but, you know... A boy's gotta do what a boy's gotta do. <laughs> I'm gonna go up there now, and there's gonna be thousands of them just up there. Screaming about there's a guy here. It's quick everybody uh -oh, I got it. No, 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 you don't get to run Nice <laughs> I'm crazy help me Let's reload our ammo we don't want to be caught with our pants down between our ankles after all. So they said something about him being at ground floor. Oh, that's a gun. That's cool. That's real cool, dude. <laughs> Find the shipment? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why aren't we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder. How's a guy? <laughs> <laughs> huh, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on the fourth floor, so I'm surprised the Wi-Fi is getting up here. See that? That was a gun flip. That's a that's a lesson for you all. Don't ever fuck with me. You'll get gun flip, dude. I don't even understand what the crossbow is for. Like it doesn't immediately put them under. Which I mean, I guess that. I guess that makes sense, but like, you know. And does it make sense for a little boy like me? So that's the kind of gas that was in my fucking face not too long ago. <laughs> Are they bots like programmed? Yeah. Mm. Hey, I think I'm gonna head off to bed. I haven't slept in nearly 32 hours. That's right. I, uh, that's incorrect. Hey, I think. Yeah, good stream. And don't get pregnant. Okay. Bye, mind play. So how do we? How do we do this? <laughs> That's some great aiming. No, it's great. Trust me. Trust me. I'm loving it. 
Oh my god, the mini crossbow is on my fucking arm. That's what they meant by mini, dude. Suck my dick. Fuck. There he goes. There he goes. Oh shit. <laughs> you know, it's bad when they're both wibbling, wobbling around. Hey! Hey! Go to sleep. Yell of pain. <laughs> Why isn't he falling asleep by now? There we go. NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Right. I think Gunther is being held behind this laser triggered alarm. If you don't want to set off the alarm, you can either hack the control panel in the doorway or find a way around. My blueprint of the statue shows a few air shafts. Quiet. I think we got cops. This security setup is strictly amateur stuff. Keep an eye out for ways to bypass it. These old pre-millennial buildings are riddled with pre-millennial and maintenance tunnels. Holy shit! <laughs> Did you see that? I barely avoided it. Oh what? Oh whoopsies! I didn't mean to pause it. <laughs> <laughs> Toy food, great. My absolute favorite. Delicious. I, I eat it and I'm beautiful. Locked. One lock pick. I have the lock. Bada bing bada boom. Daddy's found his new way in. I got more gra gas grenades, by the way, so. Yeah, that's always good. Oh. Fuck. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Hello? All right. How? How's that even possible? This is good. This is fine. This is lovely. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Do you not go for that way? Wow. Okay. <gasps> go down! <laughs> what a bunch of silly boys. The guy walked right past the other guy. <laughs> he walked right past his unconscious friend. <laughs> There's always another way. Uh -oh. Gunther's in that room. One of our top agents. Oh, this is bad. I 
heard something. <laughs> I know I heard something. <laughs> I broke his fucking chair. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> I know I heard something. So something tells me. Something tells me. You know. Maybe I heard something. I can hack. Let's hack it, dude. Initializing icebreaker. Initializing icebreaker. Grass grenades. Wait, what? Oh. Camera status on. Unlock. Open. Allies. Look, there's me. Oh shit! Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Look at him. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reasons I said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. As you wish, take my pistol. As you wish, take my pistol. That will be adequate. I will secure this level. You proceed up the stairs to the command center at the top. <laughs> just <laughs> kind of just slammed the door right there. Terminal is locked out for 77 more seconds. No way. Come on. At least the rat will be my friend. <laughs> oh no! I stepped up. No. <laughs> no. This is impossible. How could this happen to me? <laughs> I accidentally stepped on my rat friend. Holy shit, look at that. It actually burns. Wow, it's like real dynamics. Animal carcass. Oh, that makes me sad. The AI is beautiful. It truly is. What a time to be alive. Weapon activation. Oh, I can get an accuracy mod? Hey, what? What's this do? When clamped under the frame of most projectile weapons, our harmonic balancer will dampen the vertical motion produced by firing a projectile. Drag over weapon to upgrade. Weapons highlighted in green can be upgraded with this mod. Epic. Oh, I can, I can shoot regular darts, too. Nice. I got a thing to it. One more second. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Hack me in, baby. Hell yeah. I can't change that. Uh oh, nothing else I can do. Man, that is loud. That's really, really loud in my ear. How do you get out is the question. Oh, my, my bioelectricity is all done. I need to eat this. There we go. I guess I don't really need to see. You know. Thank you. So many people use that ATM each day that it's busted 90% of the time but if it's working you might need to need some cash today for the pub crawl we've got planned in the city don't let the tourists get you down see you there tonight sweetie account in Johanna then your husband to be Jonathan sorry <laughs> yes I was serious last night I really wanted to get married in the statue we met there on duty and all our friends there yeah 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 let's let's Go ahead and log down that number, shall we? Where where's my goals and notes? Here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. It already does it. What a what a smart little game. PS twenty. What whatever happened to the PSP? Sick monster. No, it wasn't my fault. He ran in front of me. <laughs> I don't know why he ran in front of me. PS20 ammo type. Oh. Weapon pistol. Oh, okay. Why do I. What? 
that there. Charger should be more like yeah, right there. Use some soy. <laughs> Cause you know, soy baby. Do I have any ammo for it? No? Okay. I can do some smoking. Even though it's bad for my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh wee wee. P20 has backwards compatibility with the PS17 and 14. But the 14 sucks ass. No one wants to play the 14. So wait, can I use that code on here? That one code I got? What was it? It was... 2300234558. I don't think I can, right? Because it's not to this. No, yeah, it's not even to this. This is a username and password, and that's just account number and uh, pin. Okay, yeah, no. So I'll be able to get to someone's credit, you know, their little bank later. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a bad man. I'm going to steal someone's bank account information. Viewer beware, or in for a scare. <laughs> so wait, we should probably check our goals and objectives. We you not co-informant Harley da da da. We don't need that. We just need to get up and find who's doing all this bad stuff. Okay. You're unconscious. This is medical, right? Just my type. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting game. Pretty interesting. Is this the ATM I was told about? Ooh, here we go. Warning, unauthorized access will be met with excessive force. Oh, that's fine. So what was it? Can I access? No. Two three twenty three zero zero twenty three four five five eight. Twenty three zero zero twenty three four five five eight. Woo boy! Give me them credits, baby. <laughs> Whoa! Thanks for the free money, whoever that was. <laughs> oh, I just stole from someone. I have 650 credits now. Guild points. I I should try and hack into the bank, but <laughs> Are you serious? Look at this. Is it actually healing me? So 58, 78, 83, 93, 93, 72. Yeah, 93, 93, 93, 72. It, it didn't look like it did anything. But that's fine. More goodies. My favorite. I don't know what a P20 is. It says you can only carry one. Ammo type. In a. Is this a weapon? Plasma Beast Beamed Weapon? What? The fuck is this? <laughs> no way. <laughs> so you're saying- oh, <laughs> No way is this a fucking weapon, is it? Let me- Let me, let me just- <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Who's there, huh? Who's there, motherfucker? I got a death weapon. I highly suggest you leave me alone. Oh, there's a guy right there. Yeah, 
He did not like that. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not here. I'm gonna get this pig. Holy shit! Daddy got himself a, a little boy, baby. Hell yeah! Now it's out again. What a poor boy. <laughs> he died right next to his friend. <laughs> what a fool. I already say that stuff, you know? Oh, wait, look. Login is NSF001. Smash the state. NSF001. Smash the state. So that could be used. Hello? I'll be right back. Real quick. I'm back. Dude, why you gotta take my money? You don't understand. I don't have 50 followers on Twitch yet. Don't you know what that means? I gotta use your money. <laughs> it's the only way. Stop looking at me. I hate those. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> no. I wonder. Wait, it's turn. Bah! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> No, no, oh no, why, <laughs> why did this happen to me, why did this happen to me, what did I do to, to, <laughs> to have such, such poor luck, huh, huh? What? 
What was that, huh? Hmm? Someone, someone wanna, someone wanna explain what what that was all about, huh? Oh no! Oh no! I go to use the bathroom for two minutes and my money gets stolen from. Uh, sure. Where's yet your money your went to Paul nothing? Is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. <gasps> Paul, I thought you looked in the The NSF, what are we waiting? The NSF, all I've got. Remember that we're police. I like right this isn't a training exercise, JC. Your targets will be human beings. I get the idea. I'm going to give you a. I'll see how. Your primary. What am I? Interrogate. You forgot to save. Is the explanation? I don't need your explanation. What's I your need take on the situation? explanation? How they get? On why life sucks ass. <laughs> why do I have to start all the way back here, huh? It just ain't fair. It just ain't fair just because I kill somebody. What, just because I'm a killer? <laughs> this is garbage. This is BS. <laughs> There's been no progress done. Your orders are to shoot on sight. Will you not go informant on the north dock and get you inside the statue? Look for a bomb. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Got it, Sawyer. I'm sorry, Zor. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get, get your him? hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Oh, well, I got him, so. <laughs> No worries on that. <laughs> Two hour mark is in 15 minutes too. Don't you mean like... 20? <laughs> it's about an hour and 42. 15. Oh great. Oh it's epic, trust me. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. I can't handle this. I can't handle this life. Life that's plagued me. I can't handle it. It's fucked, mate. <laughs> okay, let me grab the box now. Come here, motherfucker. Another one down, dude. Now he's running. <laughs> Which way is he going? Is he running or going? That did not stop him. <laughs> he kept on running until the sun was at his back. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll just have to start it all over tomorrow, you know? There ain't nothing too bad about that. This is a really shitty fucking system. Yeah, we're just gonna have it where it wibble wobbles, you know, quite a bit. Come 
come on. Bingo. <laughs> That's just what happens, honey. That's just how the cookie crumbles. I don't care about non-lethal takedowns. I'm a fucking god among people. People pray to be like me. <laughs> I'm a god. That looks hard to control. It really is. <laughs> like, it badly, badly wants to not be there, you know? That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. <laughs> I'm also affected. <laughs> That's how we do it in the in the army, baby. Whoa. Oh, hey, look, I got a crossbow now. Quite excellent. Now I can shoot him from a distance and watch him fall onto the ground. Come on, motherfucker. Sooner or later, they're just gonna find us. I'm here, pig. Good night. <laughs> Well, at least we know how to do stuff for next time, right? Oh, he's just jittery. <laughs> he's not having a good time. <laughs> Let's exit out of that. So yeah, that's been Deus Ex. That's pretty interesting. It certainly is a very interesting game. Um, And now that I kind of understand what has to be uh, done... So, in the training area, when he said, you know, you have to hold still and get your target and all that, um, I didn't know he meant, like, you know, you have to not move and you have to, you know, keep your cursor kind of still to really aim in and zero in and all that. It's a very sneak and go kind of game. You have to kind of really, really, you know, understand what you're doing. But, yeah. It's about the two hour mark and all that. Um, I think I'll end the stream here just because, you know, why not? Why not, huh? What shall we be doing for the next 10 minutes? Oh, uh, we can do... Uh, let's see. We got one, fi one finger death punch. You want to see some of that? It's one finger death punch. It's one of the most simple games ever. Fight using only the left and right the mouse buttons. Where you fight, your that. cursor can be anywhere on the screen. Fight using only the left and right the mouse buttons. When you fight, your cursor can be anywhere on the screen. Fight using only the left and right the mouse buttons. Silver dollar. Silver dollar. Chinese dance machine. Welcome to One Finger Death Punch, baby. We're gonna let's go with this one. Kill all enemies using holy bombs. You can only throw one at a time. All around. Go. Your enemy is strong. Take your time and the focus. Take your time and the focus. <laughs> Let me turn it down a bit. About 50%. Bomb round. This is a special round. Usually you're fighting with your fingers. You're fighting with your fist and all that. Your enemy is 
Take your I'm not doing that one. That one sucks. Let's do this one. Shaolin Tiger. <laughs> it's basically just a simple little game, you know. Shit. <laughs> Bongo. It's literally me just pushing left or right on the uh, on the keyboard. <laughs> That's literally it. Bingo bongo. <laughs> Shit. That's my favorite, it's the ball. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten that far with a ball. Holy shit. Man, it's not really a game I'd probably scream if I wanted to interact with the chat. You know. It's interesting nonetheless, though. There's even these colored ones that, uh, make it a little bit more interesting to fight. It's got some wubby music. <laughs> Bingo! Take your time and focus. Since 50 bajillion enemies. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Iron fist will slow down your enemies for a few seconds once activated. Force enemies to back off in fear. <laughs> wow, I got all those skills. Look at that. Seems like a fun little side game. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Let's do one more. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that one. That one's a little stinky. That sword round. Speed's increasing beyond the control.
It's kind of a nice little game that you could get, like, for a cheap computer, you know? Ugh, stop hitting me! My god, they're running in out of nowhere. <laughs> Look at this. They're crazy. Oh, this sucks. Oh! So is it kind of like a rhythm game in terms of controls? Not really. You don't really have to listen to the rhythm. It's just more like you have to wait for them to come near you or, you know. You just have to do what you do. Your enemy is strong. Oh, shit. Take your time. Defend the crowd. It's just if it comes into your view and it lights up your thing down there, you punch it. Or hit it. Or do whatever. There's skills you can get. You can use melee weapons a lot longer. More combos, slow down more things, you know. Victory. Bingo. Latino medal awarded. Zero miss, huh? I wonder how I got that. So, I think this will be the last thing, and then bada bing bada boom. I have to do two people at once. Oh shit. Bingo! Referring to the button prompts, it reminds me of the dream mini games in Daxter. No, not really. It's not like the uh What's the movie called? What's it called? Keep all enemies before time runs out. You the Matrix. It's not like around. the Matrix. Kind of thing. Well, there, either way, it seems like a pretty okay. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. That's pretty weird, too. I don't know. I like it. The two-hour mark, by the way. Thank you. Um, But yeah, that'll be it for tonight, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Deus Ex Machinico. Um, I'll be playing more of this tomorrow. And maybe we'll actually make some... Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, actual progress and all that. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a good rest of your night and uh, love you all. Bye. <laughs>